Hello and welcome to Mini Metro. Now we're going to have a quick look at Beta 9 today. And we got a few changes we're going to go through and we're going to test if they work and then play a little game. So, changes. Lines scheduled for removal can now be rebuilt immediately. That's pretty big if you want to uh, do the game without a lot of uh, pausing. You can put up, put up your line, you can delete your line, put it back up. Fairly self-explanatory. Locomotives automatically removed from an old line are now moved on to empty lines instead, if any exist. So this one is probably directly related to the one before. So you'll create your new line, but you won't have enough trains for it. So what it'll do is it'll wait till the previous line disappears. It'll then take the previous line's train and put it on the new line. So that's pretty good. The asset panel can now be raised and lowered with the up and down arrow keys. Yeah, that's yeah something. It's not particularly useful for me useful. Hong Kong is now playable, so we got a new map, which is really good. We'll test that out. If a station appears on top of a line, it will insert itself into the line if possible. Then this is really good because it was really easy to miss a station on a line. Like if it was just sitting there and then you'd end up with that station getting overcrowded, it would just cause you issues and it would be quite a big deal. So let's go to the game and have a quick look at what we've got. So into commuter. Still got London, Paris, New York, but now we have Hong Kong. And I believe Osaka is also new. And I'm just going to have a quick look along the end. Nope, those are the only new ones. So we're going to play Hong Kong. Jump into it. So, line scheduled for a removal can now be rebuilt immediately is the first thing we're going to test out. So, I'm going to create this. Oh, don't want that line to go that long. So, the best way of doing it would be create a line like this. We're going to wait for this yellow train to get past. We get rid of that line and we're going to rebuild it. Works, perfect. And the train that was on the old line now moved to the new line. That's exactly what it should do. Right, let's test, can the asset panel be moved up and down with the arrow keys? Yep, it can. Perfect. Uh, I actually got the patch notes here. There is another new station. It's uh, Montreal was new. So, there it is. Um, yeah, the other change that they've done is if a station appears on a line it can't be like it will insert itself into it it's very hard to test that one uh, as there's no way of forcing a station onto a line but hopefully if we just play the game we'll find out so uh, if it's in the first week of the game we've not got any real issues cropping up I think I'm going to use green as kind of a connector line between the two rivers. And then I'm going to have yellow and blue as a kind of base on each side. And then if we need to expand out further, I'll create new lines. We'll put another one on green just to extend it out a little bit. The benefit of this strat strategy so far is that you'll only need one line like one bridge and if we have a look at number of bridges we have we only have we start with three so this should keep us here for a while almost coming up to our first choice I'm not entirely sure what I'd like it might be early enough that we can just pick a line and we'll just have it as a backup don't really think we need the carriage just yet so or I'm going to click carriage like, yes, an idiot. Okay. So it turns out we really did need a carriage right then. Right. So uh, 
given that in a previous uh, patch they made it so that you can move carriages and trains around, there is absolutely no reason in not assigning them. Do you see that there? That station fit. Unless that just changed symbol. But it stayed on the line at least. That's something. Let's see what we've got. We've got another train. Um, let's put the other train on green. It's probably going to get quite busy if we get a unique on yellow. But it might also get busy just because people are trying to get to the, these two on blue. The uh, quarter circle and the square. Hmm. Blue line's getting quite long now. I would probably say this is about the length I'd like it to be in the end. At least until we get a lot of upgrades. Um, yeah, I'd probably want another line, and it'd probably go along here. Kind of connect it up, just for a snare. But we're gonna live with what we've got. I make a nice, say nice uh, circle. It's not really that nice, but it'll do. I'll do that. Got four circles in a row here. This is gonna cause some troubles later. Because we're gonna have a lot of people wanting to get to one station here. They're all there's gonna like six people on it. It's gonna get to this one, no one can get on, and then this one will get congested. It's already happening, we've got three here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this train from green and stick it on yellow. This won't solve the problem, because now we have five circles in a row. Which is ridiculous. But it will help alleviate the problem temporarily. Okay. So. There's our choice. Line or carriage. I'm going to choose a line. And I'm going to. I was going to lower blue line. I'm looking at whether to do that or yellow. I think it's still better to do blue, and what we can do to help yellow is we'll extend green one station. What this should do is it should allow green to come down here, it'll pick up one, and then it'll go back up. Right, so let's make blue, blue a lot smaller. So that would probably do. So let's get rid of these ones. So we'll make blue that, then we'll make yellow. Hmm, that's quite an odd bit of river there, because you have to work your way around it. So we'll make yellow that, and that should work. We can extend blue out a little bit over there, and we can extend yellow out a bit over there. Yeah, this bit of river is quite interesting, depending on where the spawning is. If it always spawns them down here, you're eventually going to have a bit where you're going to maybe use a bridge suboptimally. But it probably won't make that much of a difference. It's just a nice change for the map. So you can extend blue out a bit here as well. Yellow now has a unique on it. And that's quite good. Because we're like, increasing the infrastructure up here. This particular station, though, is getting overcrowded, so we're going to take the carriage from here and we're going to put it on green. Yep, that should be okay. Because this one's on green line and this one's on green line, and an extra carriage should solve all the problems. Why are all the triangles getting off there? Let's work this out. So the triangles are getting off here. And then go one, two stations. When they could go one and two stations here. Is it because they have to make an extra stop? Hmm. We... I'm not entirely sure what we want to do here. We don't really want people from Triangle getting off here. But I don't think they are. So maybe we're okay with that. Okay. With this spawn here, what we're going to do to fix our previous problem, I'm going to disconnect that, connect that in there. Let's make it look a bit nicer. 
Come on, game, work with me here. That's just awful, but we'll stick with it. Um, okay. What am I doing here? So, I'm going to connect that one. I'm then going to connect that one up there. It's still the same number of stops. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll keep it something like that. Yeah, okay. So, all I really succeeded in doing is making my stations look worse, but... Yeah, that's what this game is. Okay, so this is going to come back here. It's going to pick up most of the people. Or ignore the entire group. Okay, because they're going over here. That's fine. That's where they should be going. Ignore me. Hmm. So it looks like yellow might need a bit more infrastructure if they're all getting off here for yellow. Ah, this solves our problem because we have so many people wanting to get on triangle here. If we put a triangle on green line, what will happen is they'll, instead of going over here, they'll just go along. That'll be fine. That will solve the issue. Unfortunately, it has to come back again, but be fine. Why are they still getting off here? You, you've got a one-stop thing till you get to your triangle destination. I don't know. Right. Maybe I'm missing something. This station's getting quite clogged up, but because yellow's not going to pick anyone up at square this time, it should be able to pick up most of the people here. Yeah. Problem is, it was already filled with people from square. So when it got to this one, nobody got on, because they were all going to triangle. Because all the triangle passengers are now getting off here, it solves the issue. Still haven't seen any station spawning on the lines, which is a bit annoying. I also really don't like this large amount of circles. That is an issue. Locomotive, we're going to pick carriage 100% because this needs to go on the yellow line. We also need another train, let's put that on orange line and that should help it with issues that are going to crop up. And I'll always, if we need to move it, we can move it. But yeah, that should solve all of Yellow Line's issues. Hopefully that should also help all the other lines it's connected to, because they're not all getting clogged up and then dumped at once. There's a constant flow of traffic. Okay, everything seems to be working. This station's no longer in trouble. Which is exactly as it should be. Yeah. So, what I'm looking at here is we probably want to be looking for another line down here. But we also want some more spawns down here. Really dislike how that still pops up. I wish you could lock it down. Maybe and then only come up when you press the key. That could be quite useful. Okay, so this uh, symbol changed. That's alright. They were already getting on green line if they were going over here for uniques. It's not going to cause any extra traffic. I think I'm going to make this one connect to yellow. And the reasoning for that is if they're getting along here, it'll decrease the traffic because they'll get off onto our better infrastructure line and then go over to square which will then give a couple more uh, spaces if it if say yellow drops off all of the quarter circles on this station blue will come along here it'll drop off all of the passengers to go to square and it can then pick up quarter circles if that makes sense opposed to having passengers for square here and then get then having to come here but it would also have the passengers for a quarter circle, and then they'd be fine for space. Okay, green is maybe needing another train at some point. 
we might have overstocked orange line. We're actually going to put the train over here for green. Now, although this isn't going to solve the problem straight away, the reason we're putting it over here is so that we have the trains going at different times instead of just going at the same time. Okay. So I see they'll be going opposite directions, hopefully. It might, it might, this one will go quicker, so it will eventually catch up with that one, but maybe we will have stopped by then. Okay, that is an interesting spawn. That's, yeah, that's a bit of a problem on this map. So we definitely need to conserve bridges. We're going to put it over like that. Had it looking nice. Yeah, something like that. That uses two bridges for something that c there can only be one in there. That's interesting. Yeah. And it hasn't offered us a bridge so far. I wonder if that's a thing in the choices that's coded in. Like, we, or whether it's just random. Because if this map just starves your bridges and then starts putting things in there, you're going to have to kind of plan your route through there. So you use the least number of bridges. Maybe the best route would be kind of a round thing, where you'd use one, two, three, you still need an extra bridge. Oh, I'm sorry, tunnels. It's I haven't really learned the difference between these two. I'm going to pick up a line because that's what we had previously decided. And we're just going to lower this a little bit. Let me think about it. We're going to do this. We're going to take out every second one. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to come along here. That's orange's new root. And then dark blue. We'll take those ones. I don't really want four in a row, so I might go triangle circle, just to reduce a bit of the traffic on arch line. Eventually we'll want to separate these two lines a little bit more, so they're not going along the same route. But we don't have anything else spawned down there, so unless it spawns more, we can't really do anything too drastic or amazing. So all of this trouble is going to disappear very soon. Star. We're going to put star on yellow line. Yellow line. Okay. Work with me again, game. Right. I think that's a better spot for this blue line to be connected to as well. To the star up there. that one, and that one. So it's connecting always to the one before the one it was before. There's no reason for it to connect to circle other than that it was convenient, so that will do. Ideally it would connect directly to square, but it's just a little bit off where it should be for that. Blue line's getting a little bit overcrowded, we might want to consider moving a train from orange to blue because we've reduced the amount of strain on orange. I think we're going to do that. We're just going to take that one. Where is the blue train? It's up here. So let's put this one here. That'll do. Oh, there it was. Didn't see it. It'll be going in the opposite direction, which is fine. Right. Now yeah, that'll do. Everything's starting to get a little bit more crowded here. We're really going to need some more spawns down here to reduce this crowding. Although it should eventually sort itself out. I was consider. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this connected like that. Now my reasoning for this is... If orange gets to here, and it can't pick up any passengers, 
it'll just move on. But a blue and a blue gets to here and it can't pick up passenger. It'll pick up an extra passenger. This station isn't a problem for blue because it's also connected to green. So it'll just collect a little bit of extra slack if it has space. Um, maybe we should connect orange in, in like that. For the same lodge. No, because then orange will just get crowded at the end. Okay. Well, obviously that's light blue line. That's fine. So, see here, it's going to pick up one, it's going to then pick up four, it'll then have one extra space, and it can pick up one from this station. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. Let's see if it does. Picks up one. Perfect. I'll then drop them off, well, yeah, at that one, and then there. That is exactly how we want it to. Now, we're almost to our next upgrade. I'm thinking that we probably want either a... That. No, I'm just going to say it. we want a carriage upgrade. That's all we want. We want a carriage upgrade for orange and a locomotive upgrade for somewhere else. We got a little bit of stuff here in yellow. Let's give that there. If we really need to use it somewhere else, we can use it somewhere else. I want to turn it. I want it to go in the same direction. Can we do that? There. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Uh, just that way it will catch up a little bit slower. Well, so I don't really want them going in separate directions. It's a bit harder to plan for. Okay. This one here. Do we have enough bridges? Did I just... Uh... Oh, don't want to do that. Did I lose by doing that? So you'd want to go in there. You need one to... Yeah, we cannot... Put anything here because we don't have enough bridges. Interesting. Unless we only go in with this line. Oh, this isn't good. Should have taken the tunnels. So we're going to do that and we're going to go around like that. Okay, that's fine, but we really, really need a tunnel. Fortunately, we don't have any to spare. There's no way, real way, way to make this better. Because we need one to go through there, one to go through there. We could perhaps replace green line with the line that goes down here. But that would mean reorganizing the entire train line. And I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, we're actually going to lose right there. Um, let's see. Blue. It's going to steal a train for a second. Now, come on, get there quickly. We can get this train in. We cannot lose the game. Oh. Oh, that is so close to that being a lost game now. Okay, we're going to send this train back. But My god, that was close. Don't want to do that again. This one's also going to be an issue right there. Hmm. Yeah, I get the feeling this is coming to the end of our quick look at the patch. So, oh, we've got another problem down here. This should fix by itself though. Yeah, that one will fix by itself. And you see, I'd like to take a bridge next time, but if we take a bridge, that yellow problem is going to come back. Yeah. Well, suppose we could take a bridge and then put an extra train on yellow. That would solve the problem. Well, the blue's got issues. This one's now got issues. Hmm. Yeah. I think we need to take a bridge earlier if we're taking a bridge. 
but it's about what it is what we have to do over here. Tunnel, sorry, tunnel. So we're going to do that. And we do get two tunnels with it, which is quite interesting. In fact, what we could do is just sneak that orange line in here. Now what this will do is they'll reduce a little bit of the traffic on green line. Which is exactly what we want. In fact, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to stick this one all the way over here. And the reasoning is that way we're not going to have passengers from here going all the way along this line, all the way around, all the way down and over to here. We're just going to get that passenger off and we're going to cause a little bit less problems on every line. And we're going to put an extra train on blue right there. Because blue line is going to get a little bit more traffic and it's already a bit congested. I still think this is a bit of a lost cause as runs go. But that's probably for the best. It's gone on quite a while. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good when your double carriage train just totally ignores a station. I guess that's another one on orange. That'll do. What we're going to do, we're going to move this blue line to an earlier station. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Just going to get people straight as they come along here. If we need to. So that's Blue Line's problem, where Blue Line's trains. They're all making their way round there, but they're a little bit slow on the uh, getting there. So it's going to... Oh, we don't want it four in a row, because it's going to continue this issue that's happening, where we're getting a lot pile up. It's not going to pick anyone up, is it? It's only going to pick one up from this station. Okay, yellow needs to go down here somehow. See if I can... Oh, wait, we've lost. Doesn't matter. That's lost. Yep. Well, thank you for watching this quick look at the patch. Everything seems to be working okay. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see the station appearing on top of the line, but I'm sure it will be fine. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to see more, please leave a like and... Subscribe. See you next time.